so uh, what are your first your first uh, memories uh, from uh, Ike? Well, I got to tell you, one of the things that I loved about Ike is the fans were crazy, <laughs> and for players, me leaving the, leaving leaving Israel and leaving the NBA and coming to Greece, Greece Greece fans were terrific, and mm -hmm. what I loved was how how they treated us. They treated the best player to the least player the mm -hmm. same, and mm -hmm. I loved that. Um, do you have any um, funny story you may remember from uh, Athens? And I mean from Ike. First of all, from Mike. Well, uh, listen, I, I do have some stories. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, me and John Flowers, who was playing with me at Ike at the time. Yeah. We were getting ready to play Caserta mm -hmm. in, in Athens. And Coach, who was, you know, this big-time famous uh, Yugoslavian coach. Crazy with Uh Joseph, yes. He had came to us and he said, that the Italian team that we were playing, they had they had Shackelford, John mm -hmm. Shackelford, about 17. They said he had came to us and he said, guys, I want you to understand, we're playing against a team with an eight-foot center. And we just couldn't believe it. We started laughing because we know John Shackelford. He wasn't mm -hmm. eight feet, but coach did that to kind of get everybody talking. And uh, I enjoyed it, man. That was one of my fun memories. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a great time playing it out. Uh, have you kept uh, any contact with any of your ex uh, teammates in Greece or coaches? Yes, yes, I, I, I have. I'm in constant contact with Achilles. Ah, uh, Demenagas. Demenagas, mm -hmm. uh, because he came to visit me in Florida one year, mm -hmm. and so uh, he's one of the guys that I talk to all the time. I remember Gasparis and all those guys who I played with. Uh, mm -hmm. I miss those guys. Uh, do you remember which uh, who was uh, the toughest player to play against? Uh, the, the best defender against you. Yes, Thonis. Oh, right? that's, 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 that's kind of easy uh, when I was with Daphne and, we, and they practiced in the same gym with us. And so Thonis, mm -hmm. I always tell people, was the toughest guy I had to play against and in in who guarded me. Uh, speaking of Daphne, uh, as we all know, uh, you made so many impressions. Uh, your first game against Olympiacos, mm -hmm. uh, you scored mm -hmm. 30 points in uh, that game. Uh, what do you remember from that? Uh, Listen, this is, this is what I remember to me. That was the, the, the best memory of any game that I've ever played in Europe, was oh. against Olympia Coast uh, with Daphne. Uh, they had just signed Rob Higgins from the Chicago Bulls. And all we kept hearing all week, me and Mike Smerick, you know, Mike Smerick had, had played with the Lakers, had won a championship with the Lakers. And everybody's kept telling us about Pasquale. Well, I knew Pasquale because I played in San Antonio. He was after me. He played after me the year after me. And so we knew it was going to be tough, mm -hmm. but listen, we just thought it was just, uh, for us, it was an energizer. And our fans, that's why I told you I love Greek fans so much. Well, you know what? I, I remember all the way going up that whole week to, to, to coming up to that game. Mm -hmm. And I knew, because they had another kid, man, his name was Tomic. Tomic. He played for the Bulls. Right. Right. He played, okay. Well, he was, they were talking about him getting drafted by the Chicago Bulls, mm -hmm. an NBA team. And we thought he was, I thought he was really good at six foot 10. And so we had heard about him and I love going back and watching the Olympia Coast game on, on YouTube. Uh, the game against, against Olympia Coast, man, was probably, like I said, one of my greatest games in Europe. Mm -hmm. In Daphne, the night that we beat Olympia Coast, mm -hmm. the, the owner came in and gave everyone $5,000 bonuses for Gosh. beating Cash, cash, <laughs> cash money. And when I tell you, uh, it was a great feeling, man, because at that time, you know, a lot of teams were having financial issues and our team came up with the money. And they would get, they gave, they gave, not only did they pay us, but they gave us bonus money. And listen, I have, like I said, I have only fond memories, man, of my Greek teams. After that, you, you played for Pagrati. Uh, you got, uh, you had a good uh, individual season, uh, but Pagrati didn't manage to to retain the spot in the uh, first division. Uh, what about that season? Uh, how was it for you? Well, you know what? We, we had a, I thought we had a really good team in Pagrati, but then a lot of times with some of the teams, they start having financial issues. Even though we were getting paid, some of my Greek guys wasn't getting paid. And that's a problem. And I think that's one of the things that, that I think they've created to kind of get gotten better. Because when my Greek guys don't get paid, I don't, I don't, I'm not happy. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, did any of your team uh, uh, owe you money or something? No. You know what? I was just talking to a friend of mine, Gary Plummer, mm-hmm. uh, who also played in Greece. In uh, I was very, yes, I was very blessed and fortunate. Uh, in my whole career in Europe, only one team never paid me all the money. And from Greece? Yes. No, no, yeah. But when I say all the money, they didn't give me my, you know, the, the bonus money we never got. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, the only one that ever had, I really had I, a problem was my was was Ike. That's why I ended up leaving Ike and going to Spain that next year because they didn't get they didn't want to give me all the money, mm-hmm. and so I didn't come back. That was the only team. Everybody else, every t- country I've ever been in, paid me all the money. Uh, you feel you deserve to play in uh, another big team of Greece, for example, Olympiakos, Panathinaikos, Aris, Pauk, for example. Have you had any oh, yeah, yeah, proposals? Yeah. No, no. I you know I got no proposals, but. I always talked to the coaches from Olympia Coles and, and Panthony Coles, always had great things to say about me. Uh, but coaches get players that fit their system. And for me, I, didn't, I thought I could have played with Olympia Coles when they had Walter Berry. And when they got Roy Tarpley, I thought that I would have been a perfect fit for those guys. But, you know, everybody has their, 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 their things, man, on how they want to you know, get American players on their team. Who was a player you were admiring uh, in Greece? Listen, one of my greatest, ended up being a good friend of mine, but one of the greatest players I had ever seen was Nick Gallis. Uh-huh. Nick, to me, was amazing. Nick could have played in the NBA, but I kept telling everybody, he didn't need to come to the NBA. He was living an NBA life in Greece. <laughs> so he really didn't, he didn't need to come. That's right. I, I, tell, every, I tell everybody the story of the first year I won the, the, the scoring title, and Nick Gallis called me. And Nick said, Rich, awesome deal. Great game, great, great year. And I thought that was really, to me, I really didn't need the acceptance from anyone about being the first quarter because mm-hmm. Nick called me. Once Nick called me, I was good. I didn't even talk to nobody <laughs> after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, you, what have you missed the most from Greece? <laughs> I miss the food. <laughs> the food. The food in Greece is unbelievable. I miss the food. And I miss the lifestyle of, of the beaches because the great, one of the greatest beaches I've ever been to was in Crete. I just, thought the, I just thought it was amazing in Crete. And for my team to be there, I wish we could have stayed in the first division. Mm-hmm. If I had, we stayed in the first division, I'd have been on that team forever. Really? <laughs> no matter how much money they would have paid me. That's really? how much I love that place. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Any Greek uh, words you may remember? Well, you know, I remember Yasu, Tukanis, mm-hmm. Kala. Uh, but I got to tell you, and I told this story, when I first got to Greece, <laughs> my Greek boys on my team and I, I had said, because there were so many beautiful women there, mm-hmm. I, had, I said to a guy, how do you say, I love you in Greek? And one of my Greek boys, who was it? I, oh, I can't remember his name. He said, Rich, you say Malakas. That's <laughs> how you say I love you, Malakas. So and what I happened? said, And so I go see, I see a girl at the coffee shop and I'm with some of the guys. And I say, yeah, I Malakas. <laughs> and this girl looked at me like, I will smack you in your face if you call me a Malakas. <laughs> and the fellas just fell out laughing. So yeah, man, I had a great time. Yeah, That was yeah. my story.